So we're going to review some of the methods for beginning sonographers to really be able to help master the basics of echocardiography. One, the, the first place I like to start is what I call a circle survey and what uh, some people call window shopping. We basically are looking to find the window. In this case, uh, we can see there's definitely a window here, but what you can see is every once in a while as I'm doing this circle that the image gets very bright. One of the hardest parts for a sonographer that's very new to realize is how to get the best window and then also how to get back to it because it's you get very timid to move away from a window that you find because you're afraid that you might not be able to get that window back again. So this is a reasonable window here, but if I do a circle survey, all of a sudden I, f I stumble into something. And the reason we use a circle is because with a circle you know exactly how to go back. If you're going up and down, side to side, you may not remember exactly which combination you used to land in a, w in a window. But if you use a circle, then you can see that if you pass something, you can pa back right up in your circle and find it again. So again, I'll circle around, that's bright. If I back up, there it is, I'll go past it. I can back up, there it is. So even if we're circling the other way, there's a good window, I go past, that's not good. I can go back counterclockwise or however you're moving and then you can find your best window again. So the circle survey really helps stumble into the best possible window and feel confident that you can go back and find what you passed so you're not tethered down to one window that may not be the best window for a particular patient. And like it is in this particular case, a little bit of work leaving my comfort zone of something that I had can stumble me into a nicer window and I can just back right into it. I'll do the same for the apical view. First thing I'm going to start doing is start circling around. And okay, so you can see we're getting close. So I'm going to make the circle smaller in the area where I'm, I'm closing in on it. And if I pass, I can just back up on the circle and then I can fall back into my view. So again, by circling around, see how big the, the movements are, very gross with my hand. And you can see what's changing on the screen as well. Just back up a little bit after I've passed something that's bright and then go into the nicer view. And now I can make my more minute manipulations to get and fine tune an image. But it's very easy to end up in a place where you're working, 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 and it's not a good window. And if you just take a little circle survey or go window shopping, you may stumble into a better view. But if you're moving in that predictable manner, it's very easy to get back to where you were if you're always moving in that circle. So that's the circle survey. Let's go window shopping and have better images every day.